G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here, and I am stoked to talk to you today about Sandmark mobile filters. So when I hit a thousand subs, Sandmark jumped straight on the email, first company, so stoked, and they said, can we work together? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And so they sent me these phone filters that are for the iPhone 12 Pro Max is what I have, but these filters span a whole heap of phones, this list, for example. And I, they said, what do you want? And so I had a look at what they had and opted for the hybrid filters. So what's a hybrid filter? A hybrid filter is a built-in CPL filter as well as an ND filter. They sent me this packet that has in it three separate filters. Here it is. It is nice and solid. It's a metal outfit. Uh, basically a screw mount here and you have a clip is the clip and basically you clip it on clips plastic with a metal insert nice um, tension there so let's get out there and see if these are the goods So behind me is the beautiful Hins Dam. We've taken Sandmark's filter kit out. And this is the attachment, the holder that clips onto your phone. And then we have an arrangement of four, five, and six stop filters that you screw into this, you plug onto your phone, and you see how you go. Now the advantage of a filter when you're filming things is like you're putting sunglasses on your lens. So basically when the, the light's too bright, you need to uh, calm it down so you can actually see clearly. And so to make the most of this, we are gonna use Moments app to adjust our ISO, our shutter speed, and our frame rate so that you can get a full benefit of what these, um, these filters can do. They do two things. They have a circular polarizer, which basically does, um, it, it takes the glare. So you see there's a bunch of glare around. It takes the glare out of things. There's some glare on these uh, plant life around here so we're going to see how it goes with that it also enhances the saturation so they're the two things the CPL circular polarizer filter does and then an ND which is neutral density which means it's dark all the way across the lens then that has different uh, amounts of shade that it offers so four stop is not as much as five stop is not as much as six stop and that enables you to keep your frame rate at 24 frames a second that means cinematic and cinematic allows for motion blur your eye sees at 24 frames a second so it feels as natural and as welcoming into the shot as your eyes do so what we're going to do is I'm going to take some footage of the same thing twice with the using the filters and then not using the filters and you choose your filter based on keeping your frame rate at 24 frames a second and you want to keep your shutter speed at 1 48th so double the frame rate so it's always double the frame rate and in some cases you have to go 1 50th that's fine uh, and so that filter allows us to use the light to keep those two things stable and the same without blowing out the ISO or as the light gets too much, you can take your ISO down to 100. We're shooting today with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've also got an iPhone 13 Pro Max that we'll see if the filter kit works on as well in case you're thinking about upgrading. I'm gonna put it all on the Osmo Mobile 4 to make it all silky smooth and stabilized so you can get the best experience. We're gonna shoot here and then we're gonna pop over to a waterfall and see how these lenses perform in a very different experience over there, providing I don't get mauled by these massive flies that are here. All right, so this is what the setup looks like and basically you put your lens over your camera lens and you have to make sure you get the right one, which you can see now as we're doing this. And then let me just change the CPL filter, the circular polarizer, and you can see the difference that it makes. This doesn't feel like a great deal. There you go, there you go. So you get it to where you want, you don't want much vignetting. And once you're there, you then shoot. And if I'm gonna take it off, 
so it's really bright. And so to counteract that, we need to change the shutter speed. We need to take the sh turn the shutter speed up, so it's the equivalent, which is about there. And then shoot this going back. Obviously, with the um, the extra filter on, it gives you a really cinematic feel. The CPL makes the colours brighter and more vivid, brings out some of the shadows, calms some of the, the highlights, give you a really epic look, especially here as the sun's rising, it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter. I'm currently using the ND32, which is a five stop, and I had the six stop on earlier and it was too dark, but I could venture into six stop territory now. As you can see, basically all the shadow has gone, it's all really light, it's blowing out on this camera, um, and will give you a, a really nice finish. So it gives you a bit of a feel for what this camera can do. And we're now going to head to a waterfall. Now if you're still with me, hang out for the waterfall because the shots will be better when we head up there. But I would love for you to consider buying my calendar, taking a look at it. It's a 12 month calendar with some of my best shots in the last 12 months that I just would love for you to hang on the back of your toilet door, you know, when you're taking a moment, you can reflect on some beauty and really enjoy it. Um, shipping international as well as Australia, so if you'd like to find out more, go to the link in the description below. Let's get to that waterfall. So what are you thinking of Sandmark so far? Um, I'm really enjoying their products. It's the first time I've put a filter on a mobile phone, and first of all, I, I like it because of the, the size of the hole. If you can just see that which enables you to cover your lens utterly and completely. It has a nice rubber finish, making that seal really good to not allow any light in. Plus, you can position it on any of the three lenses of the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 13. It's very versatile on all your lens ranges from ultra-wide to standard to telephoto. So I think that's a really, um, really good win. Now, I'm at Curtis Falls. This is just off Mount Tambourine. That's the falls behind me, just there. And I think filters come into their own when we uh, apply them to waterfalls. And you would have seen that in some of my previous vlogs if you've um, had a chance to have a look through the channel or you've been traveling with me for a while. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a photo or a series of photos of the falls from different angles with different glares and I'm gonna use the, the circular polarizer to take some of this shine. See the shine off the, um, off the rocks just here? I'm going to take some of the shine off, that's what this does. It allows you to see the rich colours. And then I'm going to take a photo just with the standard live function on the phone. And then we're going to put the long exposure um, adaption over that. And you'll really get to see um, the difference between these two images. So here's a, a taste of that. And as you can see, the, um, the one with the filter just looks sublime. The, the waterfall isn't choppy, it's nice and smooth. Um, there is a, a sense of choppiness on the other one. The maximum shutter length it can open for on a phone is one second. And so everything after that is computerized so it just stacks those images and blends them together. That's why it's hard to not get the choppiness. But when you have one second, it really flares out and blows out if there's too much light, which is why you put a six stop on that. So that first one I took, it really blew out when it didn't have the filter on, but when you put the filter on, it brought everything in. Those colors look just rich and beautiful on the side of the falls, and I banged the shot off. So we're just gonna have a bit more of a play with that, uh, especially from here, where there is a lot of glare, there's a lot of shine coming off. We wanna, we wanna get rid of that. So if we take the shutter down to a second, this is how blown out it looks. However, if we put a four stop on, which um, should be ample to slow down the water and take away um, this, this brightness. If we just clamp that on there, look at that. That just transforms what it's like. And then if I fiddle around with a CPL on top, just to see if there's any added glare that we can get or not get from this. So it's brighter. And then we go, let's go darker. So it gives us this mystical mystical look there we go so we've used the cpl filter to just calm down all the shadow all the um, shininess on that and we shoot that and then let's go over to the normal camera we we'll go and zoom in this is all shiny now we're going to shoot that 
and then we're going to turn that into a long exposure which will smooth out the water for us and then that compared to that so that's with the filter it's without the filter and the final thing I want to do is go back to the camera and then put the circular polarizer on and take a shot with that on and let's see what that looks like compared to the others Samark have made such a good product. It's quality, it's clear, the optics are really good, its application is fantastic. It comes in that cute little pouch that when you just open it up, your lenses are right there. I think one of the um, developments they could have is to have some way of storing the clip on here as well. You can actually clip it on, but then a clip sticks out, so it'd be really good if it was all just encased in one thing and all you had to worry about was sticking this in your camera bag or in your glove box or in your pocket. It means that the mobile photography, when it comes to challenging circumstances like the movement and flow of water or like the movement of clouds or if there's any other exciting panning shots you want to do, you want to get an app that has manual control, gives you full manual control over the camera and then you put one of these on it and you can do a whole bunch of dynamic things that you can't do with the same effectiveness, success or quality as you can just by using the phone. And if you're a little bit intimidated about how to shoot on manual and what that looks like, I'll put a link at the end of this video and it'll be in the description below of a video that I've done that teaches you how to shoot on manual. It's dead easy and in 10 minutes you can be shooting on manual and then you just apply that knowledge to a mobile phone. The other thing I'm gonna do now is this rock in front of me that has some water flowing around it. It has an enormous amount of shine coming off it. And what I wanna do is show you how much a circular polarizer can, um, can affect this and, and be improved by this. So just, uh, just watch this. All right, so this is with the circular polarizer on and this is with the circular polarizer off. Ready? Off, on, off, on as brilliant isn't it so let's um, bump this to one second you can already see what the image is going to look like I love that that's beautiful I'm going to take that shot and then what I want to do is make my lens just move to a slightly wider lens have a shot like that which takes you from one corner of the image to the other again go back to one second on this and there's that image as the waterfall winds down. All right, let's discuss the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, and as you'll see on the standard screen, it works just fine. On the telephoto, we um, don't have a problem at all. And the problem that we would have, mind you, is the lens interfering over the, um, the filter, interfering over the lens but this is the wide one just here. So it sits right in and the wider one on this to allow for macro is bigger on this camera phone than it is on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And so on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, this reaches across and covers the entire wide lens and does it on this success. Success, so you can buy this for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, as much as you can buy it for anywhere else. And what we're doing is just looking at those corners. That looks cool, doesn't it? I want to shoot that. Looks that thing. What I did it think. If you use a app that gives you full control over your photography, you will get better results every single time than just trusting to the automatic camera on the phone. However, if you're in a jam and that's what you've got, then that's what you've got. When you're shooting rainforests, which are very difficult, because there's usually water movement, there's lots of darks and lights, there's a massive dynamic range, and also uh, you've got to contend for these greens that can easily look 
skewed because your white balance adapts for the light rather than the color. Uh, um, so you can have complete control on an app like the Moment app. There's a few others out there. Uh, I chose this because it was seemed the cheapest and the best of the lot. And so far, I have not been um, uh, misconstrued by that whatsoever. Sandmark, thank you for sending this to me. You have stretched my creativity. You have stretched my passion for using filters on phones. I think a circular polarizing filter for a phone is almost a must to have in your pocket whenever you go out because it enables you to shoot through reflections. It enables you to pick up reflections on the water or underneath the water and remove those reflections. It gives you that um, scope to be able to do that. It takes all the shine that just distracts from an image so you can really see what the image is about. And you guys are so generous. You contacted me the, the moment I hit a thousand subs and you are, invited me to um, showcase some of your gear that you sent to me. I'm just thrilled by it. Thank you so much. Um, it's really great to be able to endorse such a good quality product. And if you're looking to, um, to buy this, this is the hybrid set, which we've already covered. And I will put a link in the description below that you can chuff over to Sandmark and pick up your own. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Please subscribe, give this a like, and get out with your phone and take some epic photos. And if you want to join the Facebook group and share some of those photos, I would love to see them as with the community there. So the link's in the description below. And thanks very much. Bye. I just got bitten by this massive fly. It's like the size of a car just landed on my leg. Um, so, what am I doing? Oh, that's right.